Hi, it's Mika Fasting Weight Loss, and today is day 59 Weight Loss Accountability video on YouTube. I did successfully do an OMAD, and this is hopefully my last um, bad check-in. Um, going forward in March, um, if I want to have the no-no stuff, I'm going to do it once a week. That is the plan for March. Um, the no-no stuff is what you're going to see in the video at the end. This is not um, good for a weight loss journey, in my opinion. But I lost weight, so I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm just sharing what I did yesterday. Um, yeah, and tomorrow's will definitely be way better than what you've been seeing all in February. God willing, okay? Okay, so yesterday I did work Amazon. I am so sore, like so sore. My feet, my gluteus maximus, and my shoulders are the absolute worst. Um, partly, probably, I need to really uh, stretch before and after, which I don't. I need to just leave there and go to the sauna and just join the little party and put my headphones on because, and I need to get in the hot tub. Like, I have to because this shoulder is so in pain. Um, yeah. So, I did lots of exercise. I don't know how many hours I did. Probably seven or eight hours at Amazon. And that was complete lifting and bending. And I, oh, I was in the worst spot yesterday. I packed boxes like 85% of the time at work. And <laughs> when you're packing, you could even either have cubby holes that are like this tall. Or you could have some that are like this big. Those are where the water cases and cat food and... Man, you guys buy everything. Epsom salt, big cases. I, I Someone bought yesterday like four 10-pound bags of soy. Um, it looked like shredded soap, but it was soy. Like, oh, man. Someone buys rocks. People buy just rocks. Like, I'm not joking. Um, it's kind of fun. It's not boring, that boring to pack because every box is new, different stuff. And I see everything I touch is different than the other thousand things that I touch for that day. It's so crazy. Anyway, my body's sore, okay? Um, and it's time to go now, soon. Um, as usual, it's 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'm supposed to start at 6. I'm trying to just get eight hours in. Eight hours, and I'm going to go Thursday and try to make God willing and make up some of the hours that I missed on my regular four days. I still don't have a schedule, and that's a blessing from God. And I need to make a video... I don't like that wrinkle. I need to make a video just about the blessing. Man, I have so many blessings. Like, I own a business. Like, I, I have to, like, write this down. It should be here. I should sit here every morning, have my accountability paper here, have my blessings and gratitude, have my blessings and gratitude, maybe a prayer at the top, um, being thankful for all these things, um, and then my... Um, Daily affirmations, morning daily affirmations right here. That needs to be a part of this um, because, man, my kids are all healthy. I have, I'm pretty healthy. Like, even though I'm obese, like, I'm healthy still. Um, and I have health insurance now. I have my Amazon job with no schedule. You know, some of you guys don't know about that because I mention it here and there. But I don't have a schedule even though I do. I still have a glitch. I have like 80-something hours of unpaid time, vacation time, and paid time off, but I can't touch it because when I go to request it, it says you have no schedule. So that's a blessing and a curse. My stomach muscles hurt from bending over and picking up stuff. Like, as I'm talking right now, like, I feel it, and that is exciting. Okay, but that job's a blessing, and I feel like only God gave me that blessing of no schedule. Everybody in my department has a schedule but me. So, and I haven't got caught yet, um, but maybe it was supposed to be three months. So maybe the time is not up. I don't know. Anyway, what did I eat? Okay. There's other blessings and I own a dreadlock business that I could totally take care of us if I just did that and focused on that. 
And I'm sure we can sit here all day and talk about our blessings. We all have blessings. Anyway, what did I eat? I knew it was the last day of February. I know February was messed up, so I just got whatever. But I guess I did okay with what I got. I didn't go overboard and I didn't binge, but you're not going to like this. So let me give you the weight and then I'll say what I ate and then I'll show the pictures because some people don't want to hear it because they're not going to be happy. <laughs> so the last day, February 28th, I lost 2.4. Um, I'm 245.4 today. Okay. So I'm starting March, the good month at 245.4. Okay. Um, let's see. 245. Oh, Oh my gosh, look, I only gained like four something pounds or three. I'm not doing the math. I started at 241.6. I ended at 245.4. That's bad, but it's not horrid. It's just really bad. No, it's bad. It's not really, really bad. So now starting at 245.4, March Madness weight loss journey begins today, okay? With this meal I'm about to go eat. It's not what I want. It's what I need to eat for today, okay? Oh my gosh, I wrote a quote. I hope some people are still here. Be willing to be a beginner every single morning. Meister Eckhart. I wish I said that at the beginning because I am a queen of hype and I get excited on my birthday, the new year, the Monday, the first of the month. I'm excited. We need to be excited every day because we got a new day to be a beginner and do amazing, okay? Um, what did I eat now? So I had... A chalupa from Taco Bell, a double cheeseburger with the bun from the place that has my favorite ice cream, my favorite ice cream, one Dunkin' Donut, my favorite, which is the vanilla cream filled, and it has that like frosting stuff inside. I love frosting. And a caramel Cadbury egg. Yep, that's everything I ate yesterday. And I lost 2.4. It's got to be just the body... Um, maybe the calories. I don't know what it is, but now I'm starting good. How are you doing? I am back to reading comments because my mind is really right at the moment as far as I can handle whatever anyone tells me today. So I will be reading comments. So how are you doing? How did you do in February? What are you going to do in March? Let's go.